Hello you guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's video. It is another episode of one of your guys' favorite series, trying out a full face of makeup from insert store name here. We've done so many episodes of this and I've gotten to try out so many, both really great and also really awful products from Timu, from Fashion Nova, from Shein, from Wish, from the dollar store. And today's episode is going to be a brand new store that we have not explored yet, Five Below. So if you're not familiar or if you've never shopped at Five Below, they have stores all over the nation and it is very very similar to the dollar store, but instead of everything costing $1, everything costs five. Or no, below five. Five or below. That's hence the name, five below. <laughs> So, just like all the other videos, we went shopping. And let me tell you guys, this, putting this makeup routine together today was a nightmare. We had to go three different times to three different Five Below locations because this, it was a barren wasteland. Nothing on the shelves, literally nothing. It took us that many tries to actually get a full makeup routine put together. I don't know if everybody is all of a sudden going to Five Below to get their, you know, makeup goods. The total cost of this, according to the receipts added together is 100 $105.49, so definitely on like the middle range of the series prices so far, but we actually got some pretty good brands today, so I'm excited to try this out. Let's go ahead and get started on this full face of Five Below. All right, you guys, if you're excited for today's makeup routine from Five Below, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. I'll give you five seconds in honor of Five Below. Five, four, three, two, it's below. Okay, and also make sure you subscribe if you have not already. Let's get right into this today. Honestly, you guys, I did this shopping like a month ago now. It was on April 26th. April 26th, you went on the shopping free and it is currently the end of May. So, um, it's been a while. It has been quite a while since I got my items from Five Below and honestly, I don't really remember what we kind of got. I have a gift before we start. No. Yeah. No. I snuck this You already into the, gave me my birthday I gift. I snuck this into the register. This is your shirt for the day. No, I have- It's five dollars or below. I don't care. I'm- the, My outfit looks below. cute. Come on, look at that. Do what makes you happy. That's cute. I already look cute in this outfit. I have my earrings on to match the blue shirt. You can't even see it. You can't even see the stupid thing. No, you can't even see it when it's all the way zoomed out. I am not wearing this. First and foremost, we have a bag of 25 cosmetic sponges. Beauty Blender could literally never. This is like like the like a memory foam mattress factory. Like this is like what they slice off to like make sure that the edges are like nice. Oh yikes. Okay. Oh my god. Speaking of sponges, cut up. <laughs> this is literally what beauty blender. This was. What? Like, la the great the way This is the only one that looks like relatively normal. This is also giving slight butt plug energy, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this wet and we'll get started. All right, you guys. So our sponge is all wet and good to go. Let's go ahead and start off with our primer. This is from the brand W7 and it says 24K Prime. Priceless Primer Serum. Our primer is a blend of silky smooth, ultra hydrating oil and flecks of real. Oh. 24 karat gold. Legally, they can should not be able to make that claim. Let's be for fucking real. Oh! Oh my god, that was much waterier than I expected it to be. Okay. Oh, it literally smells like olive oil. <laughs> That's what it smells like and what it feels like on my face. I have a feeling this is not gonna do anything for the makeup aside from make it slip around, but we're gonna go into this with an open mind, okay? Some, to be fair, to be fair, in a couple of these episodes of this series, we have ended up with good makeup looks. Will today be one of them? Don't know. Now for foundation today, I have three different options. Um, there are two of them are from LA Colors, Truly Matte Foundation. I think that this color in the shade Soft Beige is gonna be my match because this one from Wet n Wild is not. Gonna apply this to my skin using this gorgeous new Wet n Wild foundation brush that I got at Five Below. Thank you so much. Ooh, it's a little yellow. Oh my God, it's a lot of yellow. It's not the worst though. We'll just blend it out nicely. You know what, let me grab a little bit of the other color. This one might be slightly less yellow and if we can mix them together, it could be a better shade match. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer now. This is the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer. Such a cute little tiny little girly. Ooh, wait, the formula is actually like really thick and nice. It feels very creamy and delightful. Let's blend this in and see how it actually looks. Ooh, not bad. Wait a second. Oh my God, hello. Wait, that actually looks really, really nice. 
The base is all applied and now it is time to set everything in place. And this is where, unfortunately, during these videos, it always goes wrong. I don't know why, but none of these stores make translucent loose powders. I, I, have, I don't get it. Every single one of them insists on producing cheap powder foundations that always, without a failure, look like absolute shit. And I have a feeling that this one today is going to be another one. I could not tell you why, considering translucent is supposed to work for every single skin tone. If anything, you could do a translucent and then like a honey type of color. But instead, these brands choose to manufacture foundation powders, which one, cost so much more money to make a whole range, and two, absolutely fucking suck. <sighs> no, you know what? No, let me, give, let me give credit. This is actually setting it in place. It doesn't look amazing, but mattifying, as you guys can see. And thank God this color isn't the worst. Like, it's, it's not gorgeous by any means, but... We've had, we've had far, far worse. Now that we are all set in place, we need to go in and add a little bit more color to the skin. So, I just actually got a fucking chance to look at this. We're gonna use this to contour. Wow. Um, I didn't realize how bad these colors were actually. Now I'm gonna try to use this Wet n Wild brush to contour. And I have a feeling this is going to do literally nothing, but we will try it out. There's, a, there's something there. It's honestly not that bad. I definitely usually like a slightly more pigmented contour, but no, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to just be nice, but honestly, this fucking sucks. There's no pigment to this whatsoever. Well, honestly, it's not even that there's no pigment. It's just that this is way too close to my skin tone. Like this might look good on somebody who's very, 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 very fair skinned, but I am not one of those people when I am getting some gorgeous time in the sun, AKA spray tan. <laughs> Next we have blush, this one's from LA Colors. It did come with this beautiful stunning brush to apply her, but I think that we're going to um, actually burn this in a fire and use this one instead. So let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. <gasps> Wait, pretty. Actually, no, it's not. It's, that's a... <laughs> it does not look the best. The base is all done. Let's go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit and we can do these eyebrows. Now, I am definitely scared today because this is what we have for the eyebrows. LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil. We also got the shade Dark. It was the only color that was available. So that's gonna be fun. I obviously do have very dark eyebrow hairs, but I personally prefer using a lighter brow product so they don't look like Sharpie brows. I've learned my lesson the hard way. Hello? <gasps> Ew. You're ugly. Oh my God. Don't look at me. What is going on? I've had worse brows. That's all I'm gonna say. I've had worse brows. The texture is very waxy, which you guys know is not my favorite. I definitely prefer a dry style of pencil. However, the color isn't the worst and I feel like I did get a good application. Definitely gonna clean it up with some concealer because it was a little messy, but I'm not mad at these. We couldn't find a brow gel, but we could find this Wet n Wild Mega Last Eye Shadow Primer. I've never used this before. Personally, you guys know, I don't really think the eyeshadow primers work. I much just prefer a regular concealer to work as an eyeshadow base, but we're gonna try this one out. Okay, well now my eyelids are literally wet. So I'm just gonna go in right with this Beauty Treats Neon Brights Palette. Look at these babies. They could be great, who knows? Who knows? If I put this on my eyelid and the pigmentation is crazy, I'll eat my words, okay? I'll start off with this beautiful mid-tone blue. Honestly, it looks pigmented. Huh? Okay. Oh, wait, bitch, wait a second. The pigment, it's not awful. Oh my God, that was like actually really impressive. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit more of that to like buff it out. I'm gonna be very, very dental. Okay, I'm gonna dip into this slightly deeper blue shade. I'm gonna see if I can use this to darken up the outer corner. Okay, oh my God. I literally can't believe this. Okay, now we're gonna use, let's do a little pop of pink. I'm gonna grab this like neon pinky shade right here. And we're gonna pop this pink right into here. Oh my God, what the fuck? Okay, I'm like actually, not to date myself and bring us back to like 1832, but like, I'm actually shook. <laughs> like, what the f I did not expect these colors to be even remotely okay, let alone good. Like you guys, look at this pigment. It, they're very bright. They're actually blending together and blending out. Like, this is a, this is a good palette. Oh my God. What? <laughs> oh my God. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of purple on the lower lash line. I'm not exactly sure what color I'm gonna put on the lid. I don't really have that many options. This like shimmery teal is one of the only shimmer shades in the palette and not surprisingly and unfortunately, it's not giving much. What if we dipped into this shimmer brick that I've been using as my mirror the whole time? We have this like, no, it's gonna ruin it. Maybe if I use this like slightly pinky shade, that might look okay. This is like actually looking really nice. I don't wanna ruin this with like something stupid. Oh, that looks really bad. Okay, well, you guys saw the footage. At one point, this did look good for a couple of seconds. Unfortunately, it no longer does. <laughs> but, but, you saw the proof. The proof is here. This palette, honestly, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera quickly just to get this eye to unfortunately match this one. And we'll be right back to finish off the eyes and the rest of the look. All right, you guys, we are back and both eyes are now complete. I'm going to be honest with you. I did cheat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't wanna hear any comments about it. The eye look was too pretty. This palette, I was honestly impressed with. So I did take a shimmery pink shade from another palette and I went in on the lid. Okay, that's all that happened. That's all that happened. Don't hate me. But I just didn't want to fuck it up. I feel like this palette deserved better. So that's what's happening. The eyes are now complete. But let's go ahead and finish them up with some lashes and mascara. For mascara today, we're going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Length Waterproof Mascara. It matches the look. Look at that. Somebody from the Wet n Wild marketing team just screenshotted that. <laughs> we're going to do a nice coat on the lashes to get ready for our falsies. Ooh, okay, it's a dry formula, which is a pleasant surprise. I feel like every time that we buy a cheap mascara from one of these stores for this series, they're always really, really wet and runny and liquidy and don't do anything at all. Whereas this is actually not bad. But then again, it's wet and wild. We know wet and wild isn't bad. For lashes, we have a lot of different options here. First of all, we have Smoke and Mirrors from Clean Beauty. These are, this is heinous. It's officially Pride Month by the time that you guys are watching these videos. And these are a hate crime. I'm letting you know right now. So I will not be gluing these on. Um, and I have this pair instead from LA Colors Dramata Lash. They're called Dainty. Something you've never been called before. Every day of my life, I'm dainty. Huh? I'm so dainty. I'm literally, I'm minuscule. I'm so tiny. I like literally like disappearing before people's very eyes. I'm like shrinking. Yeah, you better go to the fucking optometrist, baby. Lashes are all glued on. It's certainly not the worst pair of lashes that I have worn in my life, but I also would never purchase these again. <laughs> Do with that information what you will. We are almost to the end of our makeup routine. Thank God. Next, we have our lips. Now, for lips, we have yet another Wet n Wild product. Wet n Wild seems to be like the sponsored brand of Five Below. I don't know. That could be a complete lie. Wet n Wild Mega Slicks lip gloss. I think it's actually gonna match really nicely with the look that we have on right now. I'm gonna go to the makeup wipe and just clean up my lip line. That way at least it looks like I have something on. So we're just gonna go in with our lip gloss right over top. Okay. Honestly, it looks like, I, it literally looks like I have a full on like lip on. So, and last but not least, for the very end of this routine, we are going to set our face in place using the Matte Fixer Setting Spray from the brand W7. This is the same brand that made the gold primer that we started off with. So the same brand starting the routine that is ending it today. Let's give this a good shake. Oh, it smells amazing. This smells so good. It's like minty. Mm, oh my God, I, I literally love that. Wait, this smells so good. I think that is our full face using only makeup from five below, all complete. You guys, I am genuinely so impressed with the results of today's makeup challenge. Five below makeup apparently is where it's at. We had $105 worth of products here today. And to be fair, to be fair, there was a couple of brands that really carried like the entire routine. We had W7, we had a lot of White and Wild, and we had a lot of LA colors. Of course, there were a couple of little one-off brands here and there, but for the most part, I do feel like those are the brands that really made a super successful face of makeup. A lot of times in these challenges, we do get a good look by the end, but it's always a little bit of a struggle to get there because there's always one or two products that really kind of fuck everything else up. But today, that was not the case. The foundation and concealer were both great. This eyeshadow palette was really the star of the show. Truly one of the best finds of this entire series thus far. And on that note, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of trying a full face of makeup from 
five below. If you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Your love and support really helps out the channel quite a lot. And of course, if you have not already, click that big red subscribe button so you can come join the family as well as that bell icon next to it so you guys never miss an upload from me. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok are all just James Charles. And make sure you follow my brand new makeup brand launching soon, Painted.co. All right, thank you for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.